and in the car. May 15th, 2014. Today I'm taking you folks to Mountain View, Arkansas, Ozark Folk Center, and the Thumb Picking Weekend. So I'm looking forward to this. It's like a seven hour trip from Nashville. Not crazy about that, but it uh, looks like we're out of the weather. Maybe we're not, but I think that we are. Damn, traffic jam. Now I hate to be late, cause my motor can go so slow. Time I get home, my supper be cold, say, damn, this traffic jam. Cause she hated those traffic jams. They grew up in the same town, the same street just a block down. It was all about sharing kisses and candy. Pretty soon, high school came, skipping class, dragging main. They were so in love, as sweet as it could be. He's 35. He's a living a life. She's gone away. And he's on a permanent high. He drinks about her all the time. And tries to wash her out of his mind. His heart and soul are on the line. And she's somewhere else. And all the walls are caving in. Whiskey always seems to win. He just keeps on giving in Cause that's all that's left And he wakes up every morning to fight And she's a long way from the back of his mind So he drinks about her all the time It's getting to be uh, time for the picking contest. They're going to do traditional sort of songs to begin with, and then later they do contemporary. I'm one of the judges. Me and Danny Dozier and uh, Randy uh, Buckner are going to be in the booth. In this little room where you can't see anything, you can only hear. It's always fun. Anyway, doing the show here tonight, let's go in. Yeah, 
He's floating in here. Wow. He's trying to break his camera. <laughs> yeah, I know you. <laughs> I'm going in to see the guitar. I bought it in a pawn shop a long time ago, and it was all torn up. And I had to redo it. And obviously, it had a bridge here at one time. So I put this bridge back here. It had a big old ugly pig guard hiding all this. Somebody's carved all this stuff out of here. Somebody put a Martin decal on it, I think. But here's what I want to show you. I've, been, I've always tried to figure out what kind of guitar it is. So I found this picture of Jerry Reed. But when I saw this picture and that kind of inlay, I thought, you know, that looks so much like that. I know it's not Jerry's guitar, but you, do you know Boy. anything about some of Jerry's guitars? Well, I know he loved those bald ones. Here's the boss coming in. This is Darren. He's going to give us some instruction. I don't know what he's going to say. Here he is. I'm going to talk into each mic, the MC mic and the instrument mic, and then get a little feedback from them if the level's good. So what we're hearing in here? Yes. Okay. You can get a quick report from them and give me a a thumbs up, okay. or turn it up, or turn it down. Okay, I'll be in the window, yes. The Greek is okay. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta show you something. Here's Marty Stewart's Richard Nixon look. I am not a crook. I've been part of the uh, genre, it wasn't traditional, I know, but I didn't, didn't have the whole traditional song ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty. tremendous amount of Italian influence that went into bluegrass music. I always liked Bill Monroe's version of Attention. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore. Diddly diddly diddly. Well, hey, I think it's a wonderful He play. had the context to get it started. Wonderful this guy right here, okay? We had the Old Time Guitarist Association. I said, how in the world could we get a hold of Merle Travis to get this thing started? And he said, well, I'll, well, I think I can get his number. Yeah. And, you I'll know, it, it and all, maybe give, him, <laughs> give him a call. <laughs> I love the old German classic, Don't Burn the Sauerkraut, Helga. That was a good one. Just my 
Digital TV. BD.